That's it. That's all we get today. <laughs> all right. Welcome to another edition of Let's Talk Ed. Today is going to be uh, I'm trying to find the right words to use. Uh, it's a tough subject we're going to be talking about. Sarah, how are you doing? I'm good. Uh, you doing Pretty good. good. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, David, how are you doing? Doing good. You're doing good? Okay. You got us a little worried this morning, but we're happy you're here. Welcome again to another edition of Let's Talk Ed. Uh, today's topic is going mm -hmm. to be don't kill yourself. And I was struggling with that topic because like people are actually taking that literally. Right. right? So right. let's be very careful of don't kill yourself. But we want to kind of use it metaphorically like, like or figuratively, right? Mm -hmm. It's like don't kill yourself. It's not, a, it's, it's not the end of the world. Right? Don't overextend yourself. Thank you. Where, Thank you. Right. Like so that. that's something like that, mm -hmm. right? Uh, but what we want to talk about also, a little disclaimer here is that neither Sarah nor I are experts whatsoever on the mm -hmm. topic we're going to be talking about, but we want to talk through experience. I've had enough of experience with student stress and depression. We'll get to suicide and, you know, we'll, we'll share our own stories first. Okay. So that being said, of course, Sarah, I'm going to have to put you on the spot again. <clears throat> uh, this is also kind of a very serious topic, mm -hmm. so I didn't even want to do the statistics on oh, okay. on that. I was like, let me not even do that. The right. numbers are just outrageous. They're oh, ridiculous. Sure. Every mm -hmm. college is kind of going through, uh, has a case of suicide. So I'm like, don't worry about the data. Let's get right through it. Mm -hmm. So let's talk stress first. Mm -hmm. Last week, mm -hmm. we met. Yes. It was uh, Aja's birthday. Yes. And I like what you said. You said, you know, I'm stressed, but uh whatever right right and i'm thinking is that does that come with age mm -hmm. where we get to a point where right. we're like what's the big deal mm -hmm. right so i like that and i'm hoping that the college students that we're talking to mm -hmm. today will kind of think about it that way as well like it's right. not the end of the world right so over to you did you stress out in college I am sure I did around right. test or you okay. know finals, okay. papers, things like that. Yeah. Um, but I think again, it's how you plan right. your course load, right? right. So, right. and then what other like if you have to have a job right. and you know other things like that. So you have to have that balance. Okay. Otherwise, you are maybe mm -hmm. going to feel more stress okay. with the more things on your plate. Okay. So I had another question here that's mm -hmm. been coming over and over. I'll put David on the spot again. People have said, when we were going to college, mm -hmm. we were either stressing but didn't know how to address it, or we were just really, really tough <laughs> mentally. <laughs> yeah. And actually, I've, I've had right. people say, no, kids, these days are just too soft. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure if that's the case or if we were stressing out or if maybe now there's more stress now. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure either way. What, what, are you, what, what are your thoughts on that? Do you think... You yeah. said we stress over... I definitely yeah. think we... I think the next generation is a little bit different than okay. us and not in a bad you, way. No, you're saying, um, you're saying you're soft. No, no. I'm not saying that. I'm not going to say that. But you said it. But no. um, it's just different, right? right and right. so, you know, I think... I don't know. That's hard because yeah. we all have stresses. Right. But it's really how you handle it. But okay. again, like we didn't have as much social media back okay. then, okay. right? Or things okay. like that. Right. So it is a different world for all of these kids right. with especially that, right? Yeah. And I think that's an added stress that we didn't have to deal with. That's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're just trying to be nice. I, th I think, they, <laughs> I think, well, so I, I still, just like my dad used to say, when I was little, I had to walk 10 right. miles. No shoes, and I, right? what the hell? It was snowing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right and then i feel like we're kind of right there we didn't walk 10 miles right. we didn't walk barefoot in the snow you know on rocks mm -hmm. but i still feel like we were a little bit tough mm -hmm. because we dealt with stuff but also you know i think the reason is there was no resources right. for us to handle that mm -hmm. so back to college whatever stress you had mm -hmm. was there people in place, system in place to help with stresses. If you were stressed mm -hmm. in school, going back to college, mm -hmm. uh, was there someone 
in place that you could mm. go to. Yeah. I don't remember that. If they had it, I'd yes. never went. Okay. Because I, I didn't right. hear about it. Correct. So I think that could be it. Yeah. But also, I think there was just a counselor, but it wasn't really a counselor. It was someone that, you know, it was like your ad drop thing, right? When you went in there and you're like, oh, ad drop, here you go. But I don't remember anyone on campus right. that if I was experiencing stress that right. I could go talk to them. See. Okay, that's good. I was gonna say, I as we're getting ready for today, mm -hmm. I did the same thing. I was like, were there counselors? I right. remember we had like house pubs in the mm -hmm. dorms or mm -hmm. house moms in the dorms. Right. If you had something, you go and talk to them. But I also have to be honest, I don't think we even talked about stress. No. Like, what 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 is stress? Right. I mean, it was, you were having a bad day. Right. Nobody taught anything right. more, more about that. So that being said, I don't, if we didn't really, we stressed out. So let me not say we didn't stress out. Mm -hmm. We stressed out. We didn't really talk about it much. It wasn't right. that big. So if we didn't do that, then what's depression, right? right. It's like you got to stress mm -hmm. and then get to depression. And mm -hmm. then unfortunately, the last option is right. the suicide. We never really got to depression so what is happening now mm -hmm. with mental health being a big, big topic? Mm -hmm. Because obviously we go stress, depression, and we have to right. talk about mental health, okay? Mm -hmm. What do you think is happening? <sighs> you mentioned social media, I do think, right? Yeah. I do think it's a lot social media. Yeah. I think, I mean, kids were mean back then, right? I mean, they were. Um, I think it is your support system okay. too, right? Because right? I think back, to your point, right. I didn't talk to anyone right. about like an RA and yeah. say, oh, I'm stressed or I'm feeling upset. Right. You know, I relied on my parents right. or, you know, my close friends. And now I think it's not that maybe some people don't have that support system. Right. And I think that makes it more difficult for them yeah. and then throw in everything else. Because right. even if you look at our children, they're more stressed than I was when I was in third grade, right? And I look at them and I'm like, why are you stressed out? Like, right. this is no big deal. Right. This is the easiest part of your life, right? right? And right. it's the same thing with college. It's yeah. not easy, easy. Right. but it should be fun right. because right. when you get out, right. it's not as fun. Okay. <laughs> Do well, my opinion sometimes. Well, forget <laughs> us, right? Forget us. We've, yeah. we, we didn't deal with stress. Yeah. David, help us out. Mm -hmm. What are you all stressing with? What, what, start with yourself. What, what stresses you out right now in college? You know, will it all be worth it, like, getting the degree? Right. Because mm -hmm. I spent four years on a degree okay. originally, yeah. like, journalism degree. Right. And it's like, dang, nobody okay. wants to give me a job anymore. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Or if they do want to give me a job, yeah. it's, like, very low salary. Okay. Like, mm -hmm. All right. My last job. Yeah. Like, the first job I was offered was, right. like, $12 an hour. Yeah. Mm. And it was, like, I spent four years... Mm. Like, I got a four-year degree for this. Right. And, like, my friends are getting, like, salary jobs that they mm -hmm. didn't go to college. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, it was like, dang. Yeah. Okay. So, if you all just uh, head, I'm going to try and project a little bit of what David said. If not, we'll have the little captions underneath the podcast of everything that David said. Uh, so, you listen to it. But I'm going to follow up very quickly. Uh, David did that take you into level two in mm -hmm. terms of depression? Yeah. Yeah. Like while in college, yeah. Okay. I was like... Yeah, you were depressed. Yeah. Okay. My friend bought a car... Yeah. Um, by his own money. Right. And I wasn't able to do, do that. that. Okay. All right. So, it's good. We got David mm -hmm. here, right, who's probably gone through the next level mm -hmm. again when I was in college. I mean, these days... Yeah, I'll be stressed a little bit and be depressed. But again, those yeah. days, I don't think I got to, we got to that level. All right. Mm -hmm. What we're going to do next is I looked at a top five uh, areas where college students oh. or what causes them to stress okay. a lot. Of, so we'll go through them one, one after the other. The first one was leaving away from home. Okay. Can you... Yeah, I mean, I remember that, that. Yeah. and okay. I think we talked about that before because I remember feeling sick, right? And I remember that feeling. I can still feel it when I pass the exit today. Right. Um, but you right. just have to push through. Yes. I, I, I don't know. I'm very big on yeah. pushing through yeah. okay. the situation because right. you don't know 
what's going to be there for you. And it may be better and you're going to have a great experience, but you don't know until you try. Good. So as we go through this here, I'm going to try for us to also provide the solutions if you will, as, as you just did. So yeah, living away from home again, if you haven't listened to the podcast in the past, go back. You know, I talk about 6,000 miles away. Mm-hmm. I think we already talked about that. It could be tough. Mm-hmm. I've had friends who actually said, you know what? This is not worth it. Right. I'm going back home. Mm-hmm. Forget this degree. You know, so yes, I can see that. Solution to that, you already alluded to one of those, is to make friends, right. I think. Mm-hmm. I think is to find kind of a, a support system right. around you. Okay, so, okay. The second one is academic demands and test anxiety. Mm-hmm. You touch on that right after yeah. we, we open. <laughs> we open. I that. didn't so, have that, but my children have it. <laughs> oh, they do. Okay. Yeah. So no, I deal mm-hmm. with a lot of my yep. students with test anxiety, and mm-hmm. I'm talking about students coming to class, right. collapsing, mm-hmm. like no, right. no, let's call, get them mm-hmm. out. Yeah. And I'm, okay, we have to find an area, mm-hmm. you know, for them to to have the exams and all. So that's a big thing. Right. Academic demands. We know how that goes, mm-hmm. right? The school load and mm-hmm. all that. So that's on the top five uh, pin. But again, academic demands, find your advisors, right? right? Find people that can help you mm-hmm. really time management, schedule your classes. Right. I think, you know, that, that will help. But it's also talking yeah. to your professors too, right? Yeah. You have to build that connection Correct. because that will help you in, in class. Right. It will show that you're trying, yeah. you know, and if you don't put forth that effort, then right. you're just one of the masses. Okay, right. Number three mm-hmm. is what David just alluded to, is mm-hmm. finances. Oh, finance, yeah. Yeah. So finances, uh, I'm looking back, I had financial aid, mm-hmm. you had a full Yep, but I still work. You have to yep. work, right. I did work. So I think the stress with that would be, I ha- still have to work to right. balance you know, the, mm-hmm. the, the budgets. Why would you stress, where would the stress come from though? Like if you have... Your mm-hmm. tuition is paid for. Right. You've got work that you're doing. Right. Is it is it is a stress coming from maybe what David said, not having more? Mm-hmm. Or maybe it's, just having yeah. too much on your plate. But I but, think that goes back but, to yeah. you have to pick a job or whatever it is right. um, that is going to fit your schedule. Okay. I worked on campus, right. so I didn't have to drive somewhere else. Right. That would that would be more time, sure. and I did 20 hours a week. Eventually, I added more to my okay. plate when you know my course load was right. different yeah the fourth one here i thought was very interesting because i haven't really dealt with that is mm-hmm. roommates negotiations and mediation did you have a roommate oh, that yes one? so i yeah. was very fortunate <laughs> um i yeah. went to college with my best friend okay and so i did have that support system yeah. but right. then you're thrown in with yeah. sweet mate um across the hall mate yes and there was a lot of conflict okay and girls whoo Ah, I tell okay. you, it was okay. very interesting okay. because now you're sharing space, like right. the person that I lived with, yeah. very similar, right? right? On cleanliness, yeah. you know, all of those yeah. things. And then you have someone else, right. maybe that was pampered more in life than you were, and they're not sure how to clean right. or really have any um, idea how the world works. Okay. That's so good. Wow. You have to manage yes. that nicely. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. When I saw that, I said, it's really this one of the top five. But hearing you say it, I yes. can see how it could be one of the top five. Yes. Last but not the least, we touched on this last uh, episode, relationships. Mm-hmm. So I've had students, relationship gone bad, mm-hmm. mainly the guys uh, hmm. who, yes, interesting enough, is the guys who don't want to talk about it, oh. but it's like my world is ending mm-hmm. professor chris i oh. i can't take it anymore mm. i can't stand seeing this person in the, every class that i go to oh, okay. and they are there mm-hmm. i'm out of here yeah i've had actually two of my students uh re- wow. relationship gone bad mm-hmm. leave to go into the military huh well i mean not a bad option yes so i'm trying to look back to myself yeah. relationship in college didn't get to those level of stresses right. for it to change my whole dreams. Yeah. But uh, any experiences? No, no. I didn't have that yeah. at all. I think, you know, you go through things, yeah. breakups, whatever. But I mean, again, it goes to what we touched upon right. earlier right. is it's different looking back right. now, right? Because 
when the younger version versus the older version of ourselves right. and things that we have learned and right. how we deal with stress That's is a, different than how right. we dealt with it before maybe. But I, you know, you can't let someone else right. define your happiness right. regardless of if you just had your heart broken, right. it's going to get better right. and it's a season of sadness, right? And then you have to pull yourself out of that season right. to find happiness in whatever it is. Thank you, Sarah. Mm -hmm. You should be our relationship uh, advisor. <laughs> Definitely good. not. Yes. I was like, where were you when my students were going through all that? <laughs> so very quickly, again, uh, what I want to do right now is kind of recap, but I did see a suicide hotline. Mm -hmm. I didn't want, we didn't touch on that. Um, sadly enough, I've been at three different colleges. Mm -hmm. Well, four, mention the one that I'm currently in, right? Every single one of those institutions, and I make this point here because mm -hmm. when we're talking about stress, depression, suicide, there's no limit to, right. oh, it can happen here, it can happen right, here. Right, right, happen anywhere. Right, mm -hmm. everywhere. And again, all those four institutions that I've been to, and I don't want to get into the details of how it happened, but there's been a case of suicide. Mm. Even at one of my liberal arts Christian school, oh, wow. which you would think, mm -hmm. okay, you know, they've got everything under control. So again, that's to say mm -hmm. that there's something that all our college students are going mm -hmm. through. Currently, there are counselors that help. So students will ask, do counselors help with stress? Mm -hmm. Yes, they do. You get to the next level, depression. Yes, they do. They are actually, if you haven't watched, uh, I'm going to look here real quick. There's a podcast, one of the very first ones I did was with a counselor. Okay. And it talked about things to watch out for, things mm -hmm. instructors to watch out for, uh, different signs of when people, students are getting to the different levels. Mm -hmm. So my little advice is if you could check that episode of that podcast, is episode four of Let's Talk Ed. You can look at it as good information. Um, since we didn't really kind of mm -hmm. experience that in college, I'm trying to see, Sarah, what, are there any signs that you know of mm. that you could say, okay, yes, this student is stressed out or they're depressed mm -hmm. and they're getting to this level? It was very hard for me. I mean, right. even when I talked to the counselor and she said, mm -hmm. well, as instructors, you should be able to notice different mm. signs. If a student comes to class and they're always happy, right. and then the next day they show up in the class and they're, they're not themselves, mm -hmm. There could be different things, but, you know, take the time to talk mm -hmm. to them. That's also very challenging. If you have a class that's got 200 right. students, you know, do you know all the students? How are you able to, mm -hmm. uh, to, to do that? So very quickly, before mm -hmm. I talk about a suicide hotline here, any suggestions mm. or advice you will have for students that are stressing out? Yeah. I like, I like the, the one we started with, really don't kill yourself. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but I, yeah. Sarah, I'll let you, yeah. I think it's hard because mm. everybody deals with stress differently yeah. or anxiety or depression. Right. And I think it's being able to have the resources to talk to someone, right. you know, yourself yeah. or having that support system that can say, Hey, yeah. maybe you should go talk That's to someone. Right. right? right. Um, I think that's probably going to be the okay. most be beneficial thing sure. because it's such a right. horrible thing. If right. someone gets to that point, where they feel like they no longer want to be, be here, here. Right? Right. right? And so I just hope that everyone can find okay. someone that they can talk to because right. to your point, yeah. as a professor, right, you may have 200 people in your class, you're not gonna make contact with all those 200 people right. and notice the change every yeah. single day. Right. So I hope that everyone okay. has someone right. that would help okay. them go talk to okay. someone. No, that's great. So I actually, uh, I did also interview two students a while back on the mm -hmm. same topics. Fortunately for those students, they were not stressing. Right. They were not depressed. Mm -hmm. They didn't even get to the point of, you know, contemplating suicide, right. which is good. And I said, you know, how do they get through mm -hmm. college? You know, someone like, I talked to my parents. Right. And I was like, what a great outlet. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Some say, I pray. And I said, yeah. that's great. You know, mm -hmm. whatever you could do to kind of help you mm -hmm. get through that. I think that's great. Again, you know, a quick note, every institution now is required to have okay. a counselor, mm -hmm. right? So for all the different mm -hmm. situations, they are able to catch or notice the indications of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the experts, we, again, we're just talking from experience here, but please, 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 again, I don't think it's the end of the world. If you're getting to that point, talk to somebody, there's all the resources, 
And before we close, I saw this. It says 988. Okay. Is the suicide hotline. Oh, on your phone? Yeah, on your mm -hmm. phone. And I didn't want to call because yeah. I'm like, what is, what is going to happen right. if I call? What's right. going to respond? Right. But I was so tempted, so I tried it out. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm actually going to do it. I hope the, the mic will pick it up to just kind of listen to just what it says, right? Okay. Right, let me see, I'll put this on speaker. You've okay. reached the 988 Suicide and Crisis mm -hmm. Lifeline. We are here to help. Para español, oprime el numero dos. I'm gonna stop right there because right. it is real. I was yeah. like, I've never heard of 988. Mm -hmm. Right, I haven't So either. we'll close with that. 988 is mm -hmm. the number you had it. Hopefully the mic picked it up. Uh, this was going to be a challenging topic. Mm -hmm. Sarah, you did great. Um, <laughs> again, not being experts, but right. just talking, you know, from experience. I think I think you did good, and I hope we were able to mm -hmm. address this. I mean, this could be more episodes that that we mm -hmm. do on this one. But I, I very quickly, I know we talked about graduation. We're back to school again. College students are going to be dealing with all the different levels of stress and depression. Uh, please talk to somebody, and again, really don't kill yourself. I don't mean that literally. I just want to say mm -hmm. really done right talk to someone it's not the end of the world your academics yes you d f whatever it is right. the solutions to that mm -hmm. right nothing is worth you taking your life right out of this world that's kind of my my closing on that <laughs>